Hello, lettering friends. I'm Sarah from Einstein Insights, and my main goal is to help you express your most confident self through hand lettering. In this video, I am going to do a huge pen haul with all of the fine liner pens that I have, testing them for faux calligraphy because I recently got some new ones to try out because I've been doing faux calligraphy a lot lately. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen that I've been doing a lot of that. So I decided to take out all of my old pens and all of my new pens and put them in one video all together so that you can see how they all work. To start it off, I thought it'd be fun to do a little game. So I am lettering the alphabet in these worksheets with 26 different pens. So every letter is a different pen. And as you're watching, see if you can guess what pen it is. Some are hard, some are maybe easy. And then I will tell you the answer at the end and you'll see them throughout. But I'll show you these exact worksheets at the end with the answer. So maybe just remember them in your head. You could even write them down if you want to really get into it. I just thought this might be a fun game to start out this huge pen haul. And then you can share in the comments below how many you got right, which ones you knew. There's no judgment here. I'm hoping you're all gonna be pen nerds like me. If you like these worksheets, I have a complete set of faux calligraphy worksheets with lowercase, uppercase, words, numbers, all the things in my Etsy shop. And I explain a little bit more about that in my other video, faux calligraphy basics tutorial. So I will link to that below. But if you just want this simple lowercase faux calligraphy alphabet, you can get it for free in my newest Skillshare class. The Skillshare class is called how to do faux calligraphy to create unique lettering styles. And I give you the basics of faux calligraphy as well as teaching you some techniques that you can use to change up your style and make it a little bit different. And of course there are these worksheets so that you can build your foundation and practice just the basics to start before moving on to changing your style. It's a really quick class. It's 32 minutes long. It's on Skillshare, so you could take it for free. If you are new to Skillshare, check out my link below that will give you two months free of Skillshare where you could take this class plus any other class on Skillshare. All the links will be below. It's kind of like choose your own adventure. Now that you've had time to see all of the pens for this guessing game, Let's get right into the pen haul. All right, the first pen is the Zig Rider. This one has a 0.5 millimeter fine tip and the 1.2 millimeter round bullet tip. This pen is new for me. I recently got it at Michael's as an impulse buy and it quickly became my very favorite. I now have been using it for anything that I need a fine liner for because I love how smooth it writes. It's perfect for full calligraphy. It's also waterproof. Next is the Papermate Flare, and I believe I have the 0.7 millimeter. I only have it in black. I don't have all of the colors, although this one does write so smoothly. I really like it, and I am considering buying all of the colors. I just can't decide which pack of colors. Although these are not waterproof, but they do claim to be smudge proof, so that might be a good option for lefties. Next is the Zebra Sarasa pen in 0.7 millimeters, and I've actually used this pen before I even started hand lettering. I've always loved this pen. I just bought this brand new one in black because I wanted to try it for full calligraphy, and it writes so smooth. It's really, really nice. I like it a lot. Next is the Pilot G2 in 0.7 millimeters. I also have been using this one for long before, and this one was actually my very first pen that I started lettering with doing faux calligraphy. I like how the ink flows in this one for faux calligraphy. That's why you see my pen is basically out of ink. It's probably time for me to get new ones. Then we have the Pentel sign pen in the bullet tip, not to be confused with the Pentel sign pen in the brush tip. You can tell the difference because the brush tip has a glittery pen body. That's basically the only difference from the outside. This one is a much larger nib. It's not waterproof. I don't find myself using this one very often for some reason. It's a fine pen. There are just pens that I reach for first. Next, we have the Faber-Castell 
in the fine point and in the bullet tip and these ones are really good ink it's waterproof great quality i don't use the bullet size the larger size as often i do however reach for the fine size pretty frequently it works really well for faux calligraphy and the next pens we have is the mono drawing pen from tombow i got these in the tombow vip box uh, several months ago and to be honest, I don't think I've even used these, maybe like once. They have three different sizes. They are not waterproof, but they do dry fast, which is good for lefties. They're good pens. I just have so many other pens I like better. Next, we have the Sakura Pigma Micron pens. These ones I have had for a very long time and I still use them. The ink hasn't even run out yet. I've had them for years. They are waterproof. I do use them often. I mostly use the 0.05 size instead of the 0.01 because I'm not a huge fan of the really, really tiny size. This is the Tombow Mono Twin. It has a larger bullet side and then a smaller side, which makes me think of the Zig Rider. This one does say that it's waterproof. The bullet side is not my favorite. I would prefer the Tombow Dual Brush Pen bullet tip. I did love the fine side but you can see i used it up because i did use it a lot but i probably won't get one to replace it because now i have other pens that i like better then there's the sharpie pen in fine this one is waterproof it's a good pen although i do find it's pretty juicy so it tends to bleed out a little bit the next pen is the pilot g tech c4 this one, to be honest, I don't know where it came from. It might have been my husband's and now it's mine because <laughs> I do that with all of the pens. I rarely, if ever, use this one because it's so fine, which is just not my thing. But it does write really smoothly for such a fine tip, which is probably why I stole it from my husband. Next is the Stabilo 0.88 in 0.4 millimeters. This is another pen that's really juicy and I found it kind of bleeds out. So I don't use it very often. It's not waterproof. It does say that it will last a long time with the cap off, so it's a good option for kids. So here's the first page of my fine liners. These are just the black ones. I wanted to see how much they bleed through. This notebook I'm using has very thin paper, so these pens might not bleed in every notebook, but it is a good test for thin paper. The Tombow Mono Twin definitely bled through. The Sharpie and the Stabilo did very slightly, as well as the Zebra Sarasa. Moving on to the next page, we have the Zebra Fountain Pen. This is my first time trying out fountain pens, and I do love how smooth this writes, although I found it skipped twice as I wrote it. This is new for me though, so I still need to try it out more and use it even more before I know if it's my favorite or not. When it's not skipping, it is really smooth for full calligraphy. The other fountain pen I tried is the Pilot Varsity fountain pen. I got it in pink instead of black. And I do notice this one feels like it is more inky than the Zebra. But I think that also might mean it would bleed more. But it was smoother to write with as more ink came out. But once again, I'm going to have to use it more to really know. I found these Papermate Inkjoy gel pens at Walmart. I think it was like $3 for the color set with the cap. And then I wanted to see the retractable one with the clicky. I wanted to see compare it because it says it's the same, the same size and everything. So I just got one in pink of that. I found that I actually like the clicky one better. First of all, because I don't like having an extra lid if I can have the clicky. Also, because I found it writes smoother, which is interesting because I thought they were supposed to be the same, but for some reason, it's slightly smoother. Next is the Marby Colorin Fine Tip Markers. These ones look exactly the same as the brush tip, so I actually bought these on accident trying to buy the brush tips. But I am going to complete my set of all of the colors of this, so I will have to do a whole video on just the Marvy by themselves. 
basically with these the fine tip is great some of these are so pastel that it's really hard to capture on video so i don't know how much i will be able to use them we'll see if the other colors do better next is the pilot friction pens these ones are erasable and they're so awesome i only have pink and green so i don't use them in my art very much but if you are a journal or, or planner these would be so great because you can just erase them and they actually erase really cleanly next we have the zebra mild liners these are the highlighter on one side and the bullet tip on the other i don't really use a chisel tip so i won't use that side very often but i do like the bullet tip these are pretty new for me so i still need to try them out a little bit more and i only have these six colors next is the sakura jelly roll pens and these are so good i only have these four well and i have some white ones but i think i need all of the colors it's just a little overwhelming to choose which ones i want i have the gold so these ones are really cool they have the color underneath and then they dry with gold on top and then i have one and it just has a shooting star i'm not sure what kind it is these ones are really creamy so you do have to go pretty slow with it, but they do well with faux calligraphy. Then I have the Pentel Sparkle Pop. These ones are so smooth. The ink comes out really, really well. I made the mistake of sharing them with my nieces and nephews and they would color like entire pages. So mine are running out. It's time to get a new set, but the kids loved them and I love them as well. Next is the Tombow Twin Tone. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know how much I love these. They are my current favorite. I use them all the time. I have two packs, the bright and the pastel. I haven't gotten the rainbow ones yet, but I do plan to because I use these so often. I just really like them. I mostly use the larger side more than the fine side. And the next ones I found deep in a drawer. I got these forever ago, I think at Tuesday morning. These are American Crafts glitter markers and they're basically terrible. They don't have any glitter. As you can see, if I try to write on top of the ink, it is starting to tear the paper a little bit. It doesn't blend smoothly together. I do not recommend these at all. Maybe you have some and you like them. For me personally, they actually went straight in the trash after filming this. All right, now let's see from this page which ones bled through. The Sakura Jelly Roll definitely bled through, but mostly only the gold ones. The American Crafts did a lot. Both fountain pens did, and the Colorin slightly did. So these ones didn't do as well as the first page. Lastly, I wanted to show you my brush pens that have the dual tip. I do have a separate video on that if you want to see more details, so I will link to that below. But I couldn't complete a fine liner video if I didn't show you the ones that I use most often, which are just the fine tip on my brush pens. So the top one is the Tombow Dual Brush Pen. Next is the Artist Loft. Next is the Stedtler Mars Graphic Duo. And then the Windsor & Newton Watercolor Markers. And then we have the Marvy Le Plume 2. And then the Crayola brush pens, the Crafty Clownfish, and then lastly is the Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. These are brand new. I do have a review video coming for you very soon. Here is the Tombow Dual Brush Pen. These are the ones that I definitely have used for the longest amount of time the most. I probably use this fine point even more than I use the brush tip. I really like them. Next is the Artist Loft. and. I think they are pretty similar to the Tombow Dual Brush Pens, although I have more colors in the Tombows, so that's why I use the Tombows more. They're just really similar. Next is the Stedler Mars Graphic Duo. These ones, I only have the 18 pack, and you'd think that would be plenty of colors, but it doesn't seem to be the colors that I normally reach for, so I don't use these that often. Basically, I stick with the Tombow Dual Brush Pens for the fine tip at least. And you can see this is the pink in my Stedtler and it's more of a coral. I would prefer to have an actual pink. 
Next is the Windsor & Newton watercolor markers. I really, really love these markers. Although the fine side, it kind of frays. So my black one is newer and you can see that it is much smoother of a line. It's not as squishy. So that is definitely a downside, but these do work really well as watercolor. I have used the fine tip a lot on watercolor paper. That's probably why my pink one is frayed. So I probably wouldn't choose these just for the fine tip. Then we have the Marvy Laplume 2 markers. This is a really skinny fine tip, which I don't personally prefer. Some other people might like this better than a little bit larger, but I don't, so I rarely use these. Next is the Crayola brush pens. I don't like these ones. You may have seen that in my Crayola comparison video. All of the fine tips are different colors from the brush tips, which really just kind of bugs me. And also this is the pink, which is more of a coral, which is fine. Coral is a fine color as long as I'm also going to get a real pink. Next is the Crafty Clownfish. This one is similar to the Marvy La Plume where it's just really small. I don't really use it that often, but it does write really smoothly. Works well for full calligraphy if you prefer a smaller tip. Lastly is the Zebra Mild Liner brush pens. This one is similar to the highlighter with the chisel tip, although this is a little bit smaller and I think I prefer this one more, this bullet tip. And like I said, I do have a full review video coming just about these, so watch for that. As for how much these bled through the paper, they all did very slightly, but nothing compared to the previous pages. Before I reveal the answers to the pen guessing game from the beginning, I just wanted to show you these fun little markers. They're not technically fine liners, but I guess kind of. I found them at the Target dollar spot and they're just so happy and colorful. They're really hard to write with because they're so small so they don't lean on my finger, but they're just so fun and they're scented. So I thought I would share these with you because they're just too cute, especially if you love all the colors. And finally, here are the answers to the guessing game. You can pause on the one that you need. I hope you had fun with this little game. Share your score in the comments below and let me know if you want to see more of any of these pens. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will leave the timestamps in the first comment below so you can go back to certain pens. Thank you so much for being here and for subscribing to my channel. I will see you next time.